hi let's talk about date or time functions in the postgresql so please subscribe to our channel for all the technology videos so like sql server or postgresql server or msba technology videos yeah let's talk about so date or time functions in the postgresql so let me go to the postgresql window so this is a place where i am going to execute the postgresql queries and if you see my pg admin window gui so this is a place where i can see the list of databases which i have in my system i have a created one database with the name of a sample and this is a default database so i'll be executing the queries in the sample database so here this is a place where i am going to execute the date and time functions so let's go to one by one so date and time functions in the postgresql editor so my postgresql is running on the port number of 5432 so it either is fine any number is fine the first function is a select now so this is a function see while writing any function in the postgresql window or gui you need to represent with a open and closed parenthesis it means that it is a system defined function so let's how to run the system defined functions you need to run the system defined function with a select and with the function name with along with a open and close parenthesis so once you are done let's run this with this execute query option so once you run it so you will see the result in the down so this now is a function which will give you the result in a format of in a data type of time stamp with time zone if you see the date and time here 2017 11 12 and time along with plus 530 time zone means what i want to tell you here is so now is a function it will give you the result in a data type of time stamp with time zone now let me go to the second function so the second function is time of day so this is also will give you the similar result but it is a text data type it is a text data type if you compare between those two so that is a time stamp data type this is a text data type so whenever you need in the next time like whenever you are calling whenever you need the time of day in the uh, text format use the time of day or when you if you need that in the time stamp format you can use that now but intentionally like again we know that how to convert the data type from uh, text to date formats so that also you can use it let us say so your your uh, results is coming in the time stamp format but you want to display that in the text format you have a cached conversion related stuff you can take the help of the cached conversion and you can uh, show it in the text format in the front end based on the requirement so but still so i want to tell you there are two different functions in the pg sql editor where you can use it based on our requirement next so here we are in the so november 12th but i want in the next my query is how to identify the end of the end date of the month i means end of the month let us say end date of the month so end date of the month so in this year so what is the end date of a particular month so now i want to identify what is the end date of the particular month so today like there are months so end date is going to vary based on the month to month let us say february month is going to contain either 28 or 29 days because i cannot say fixed value and like a january month is going to be some 31 and a march month is going to be 31 next month april month is going to be 30 days i cannot hard code anywhere so rather than hard coding let use the date trunk function so this is a function which will help you to identify the end of the particular month so this is how we write the date trunk function date trunk of month of comma now and interval one month minus one day and this will give you the end date of the month okay so i am taking the current month uh, value let me make it as change as date of end date of the month once i run this query so here i'll be getting end date of the november month is 30 november 2017 so this is how it will give you the end date so if you run the same query in the february month so it gives you it, it it gives you based on the year if it is a leaf year you will be getting one one rate one value if it is a non leaf year you will be getting one value so that is the reason why so rather than hard coding that value better to use 
the date rank function to identify the end of the month so this is how you will get the end date of a particular month next one is so i want to identify the day of the year so there are some scenarios where you need to specify what is the day number in a particular year so it depends on the year to year so let us say here so it varies from 1 to 365 or 1 to 366 based on the leap year or non leap year so there are some ui requirements where you need to show the day of the year doi so here you need to use a so doi function so doi means extract of doi from now so extract from is a function which will help you to extract the specific information in this example i am going to extract the so day of the year from the now so if i run this so what is the day of the year it is 316 it is a 316 number now the current day in a particular year is 316 number if you run after 10 days the number is going to be vary so here you can see the date part of double precision the type of the uh, value is double precision now let me go to the other one so day of a week so here weeks are varying so day of the week so it is going to be day is going to vary from 0 to saturday like 0 to 6 now let me run this once i run this yeah it is today is a sunday that is the reason why it is giving 0 so it is going to be start from 0 and end with a 6 if it is a monday it is 1 if it is saturday it is 6 and so on so this is how you identify the day of the week next it is a decade function so here within the extract i want to identify the decade so to identify a decade internally what is going to do it is going to divide with a 10 so now what is the decade here decade is 201 decade number is 201 it simply divides with a 10 okay next one is a day of the month so when you use a day so it is going to tell you the day of the month again to identify the day of the month also we'll use the extract function extract function will help you to identify the day of the month so here what is the day number in the particular month it is 12th if you see here earlier when we run run the now let me show you is that correct or not let me validate and show you here it is showing 12 let me run select now okay if i run this select that particular only one query don't run two queries at a time let's run this now if you see the date is 11 12 so 11th month and 12th date if i run this is it giving correct value now yes it is giving now this is a day of the month next century so we know that so we are running in a 21st century let me run this yeah so if you are in the previous century you will get 20 if you are in the current means current century 21 that is the reason why it is giving 21st century so century this is how we will identify the century again that is also will be done with the help of the extract function only next what is the current month so month is a current month so current month is also having a month is a keyword where you need to use in the extract operator extract function for the extract function if you run this yeah the current month in the system is on the base on the now it is 11 so earlier we identified a day now we are identifying a month so the next one is quarter so how to identify a quarter so here again the quarter is also will be identified so with the help of the extract function only so let's run this quarter let's come here yeah so se select extract quarter from on the date so if you have a specific date column so you will be writing the date column here but i am currently i am using now so now is the current date and time let me run this yeah here the current quarter is now we are in the number month so that is the reason why it is showing as a fourth quarter so now so this is how we identify the quarter so now you, you have a semester and all we can identify next one is date part so apart from a extract keyword i have other option so i have a other option so let me how to use other option date part so here date part is also a kind of function which will help you to identify day month year and all so how to write select date of date part of day within a single quote comma now so once i run this you see here i'll be getting date part see here 
to identify a particular day so i can easily use a date part as well if you see in e each and every result in the exact part i will be getting the output as a date underscore part double precision and all means it internally using the date part only so that is how we work with a date functions so not only these functions so we have other functions as well so we'll cover the other functions in the next video please share and please subscribe to our videos and please share your feedback in the comments youtube section so thank you for watching that's it